Yeah, look at this. This We're is cozy. Nice. In this, wide angle. Hey? This is fucking hot guys right here. You, you can see this yourself. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell if we're fucking up too much. Unfortunately, Dude. you have to look at us as well, though. <laughs> we just stared just at the, the wood-fired pizza thing in the yeah, background. Just be the fine. whole time. Looking whimsical. Just, it does look beautiful. Mid-chat, mid just go and grab him a pizza. Just crush a czar? Man, if I didn't have to play it, <laughs> I was eight o'clock, yeah. I fucking would. The stomach. I've seen you run around on stage. You don't want pizza. No, I got to I gotta do that light. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got to be light when I'm hitting that. <laughs> we just had a mini food ordeal. We went over there to Ooh. get a burger. Delicious. A mini food ordeal. Yeah, well, it took I a love the food sound ordeal was tiny. <laughs> Ooh, you're a special Do you mean guest. like small foods? No, big food. Oh, okay. Small, small ordeal. ordeal. Small <laughs> moment yeah, yeah, in life. Yeah. But big food. I thought, I thought, I got excited about like mini foods. That's a big thing in the States, Ordered man. Like mini burger. corn dogs. Really? Mini oh, yeah. I thought everything mini was pizzas. big over there. Well, it is, like but I, I don't know. It's like mini but quantity, you know? Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. a smorgasbord. Like, respect the mini food. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. When you get like a baseball game, they get like buckets of burgers. That is true. Well, <laughs> not the buckets of burgers, but yeah, you get like <laughs> Diamond Dog Night. You ever heard of that? Yeah. Ten no. cent hot dogs. Oh. You just do what you can. Yeah, it gets yeah, pretty. It gets like pretty right raucous. Kind of yeah, it sounds like a horrible stomach situation. <laughs> yeah, our uh, our guitar tech Pip um, has gone to two now on the road, and his goal has always been ten. And I believe he got nine the first time, and I think he got ten the last time. I'm not sure if they stayed down, but the achievement was done. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. Have you yeah. seen a food? <laughs> We will talk about music at some point. Have you seen those food competitions where they eat like th as many hot dogs as you can? Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. But Joey Chestnut, I can. Order something. I, be I believe there's been people in the '60s. Yeah. That's too much. It is a yeah, lot of a dog. Lot. I don't where know where there's 60 hot dogs in a year, yeah. let alone in one sitting. Yeah. My question is, if that much goes in that quickly, what happens on the way out? I mean, it's gotta be wild. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be insane. That's some National Geographic. Shit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, a horrible, uh, horrible thought. I hate that. Yeah. That's okay. I Dude, don't know. Respect what? the hot dog, all right? Take your time with it. If there's one thing to take away from this chat, it's respect, respect the hot dog. Respect the hot dog. The hot yeah. dog. Welcome back to Oz, man. Thanks. We're stoked to have you here. It's fucking great to be it's, here. It's been a hot minute since you were here. Yeah, uh, quite some time, like four years, yeah. maybe a little more. Yeah. We've been lucky enough to see you on a few different iterations of you being in here and from yeah. many different venue sizes. We actually saw you very true. with Pierce, but Attack Attack yeah. way back in no like a region. Way, yeah, yeah. way back in 2010. Uh, yeah. Dream on yeah. Dream. Yeah. Wild. And, uh, yeah. Dream on you yeah. probably yeah. don't remember it. I uh, wouldn't blame you. But uh, I mean, I. You were super I, sick. I, yes, I remember that tour because that's the tour that made me how to like learn how to, made me learn how to sing properly. Oh, shit. Because I was blowing my shit out so bad every single night. And like the travel in Australia is pretty gruesome. Yes, so you got to really be like on your shit with your voice. And yeah, I was so rough on that tour that I had to completely relearn how to scream so I didn't blow my shit out. That's kind of a, yeah. like a so silver yeah. lining. It, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Lessons learned. Yeah. And well, then here we are, you know, 13 years later with Pierce again. And I like yeah, that. Full I get to make up moment. for some lost time. Uh, speaking of silver linings, that's probably a really good like segue into this new album. By the way. Do you want to talk about the album? Because we've heard the album. Sick. We can either talk about yeah. it and release this in October, or okay. we can release this in a week. Whatever you guys want to do. Or we can just do. do no spoilers and just bleep half of the half of the chat out. <laughs> the world's yeah, the worst yeah. interview. How good's a pee? I mean, it, I, hey, I'm up for whatever. Have you, you done much talking with people about the album yet? I mean, I literally just was reading. We, I just released a Krang interview, or it just got out, and they're like dropping some lyrics that I didn't know they were oh. dropping and shit. And I'm like, not, that, not in a bad way, but I'm like, hey, fine, let's go. Like, yeah. we're running, let's run. I feel run. like, though, like, so October 13th? Yes. That's still a few months away. Yeah, it's got some time. You don't want to drop too much too soon. You want no. to, like, I think the way people are doing the album release now is, like, you guys have done it great. Dropping Riptide, giving it a little while, dropping Sunshine, mm -hmm. now dropping the single last week. Yeah. It's smart. It gets people's attention in this, like, current yeah. space. Do you well, I'd say up to you. If you want to drop this in a week, let's drop it in a week. If you want to drop it in October, let's drop it in October. We got but some time though. We could we could to you. we could splice it. We could do splice bits it? and pieces. Yeah, yeah we, we can could, just yeah. we can just talk and you can just cut you know it what? into whatever you, you want. You know what we can do? We'll do we'll finish with some dumb questions, some dumb fun stuff, of and we'll do yeah. that, and then we'll release the album stuff later on. That's the way we'll work right. it. Beautiful. So cool. for everybody playing at home, you'll see this part in a few months. Yeah. <laughs> Stick around, wait for then. Uh, all right, so do we want to ask him some dumb stuff? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to the interview. 
Hey, <laughs> we've done the part that you can't hear. Wait till October. For now, we're yeah. going to talk about dumb stuff. Let's do it. What do you want to do? We'll do some would you rather. We'll give him some would you rathers, and then maybe we might have to test his. He's been here a few times. We might have to test his Aussie knowledge. Oh, oh yeah, have you got boy. that? On? I don't have my phone, so you have to take that. Oh right? boy. Yeah, yeah you have been a few times. You might be a candidate for this one. Yeah. You, no one's had much success with the Aussie trivia, but we'll blame Johnny for that. He asks hard questions. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we got. All right. Do, do we want to start with the Australian stuff? Yeah. Let's okay. do a couple of that and a couple of them. We'll All have right. to probably duck off because he's got some music to play. Who mm. is Australia's most successful band? Record sales. Record sales? Yeah. ACDC, right? Well done. Yeah. yeah. Nailed yeah. that one straight away. Yeah. Uh, My favorite band. For a little, a little <laughs> bonus. A little bonus question. What country did they never have a top 20 single in? That I genuinely have no clue. I, I mean, not even a, a guess. What it's you, America. They never had a top 20 in the States? No. What? I know, that's Back in Black is like, I believe now it's like the third biggest selling album ever. It's like uh, Eagles Greatest Hits, Thriller, Back in Black or something like that. And I didn't have a top 20 in the States? Yeah, I feel like that's wow. a, that album though and the songs on it have been used in so many things. So everyone knows them because they've been in like however fucking many movies yeah, yeah yeah but I guess when the single came out it just didn't sell to America in the way it did that's fair yeah. yeah wow I can't believe I didn't know that give us three Australian actors <laughs> give us a I'm one Australian actor <laughs> one Australian actor <laughs> give us an actor um, I literally am just I uh, when we say Hemsworth them, yeah someone Hemsworth yep. there's three of those <laughs> Those three. We'll Liam. Take, do. We'll Hemsworth, take. right? Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, I'm going to interrupt this. I want to bring it in. Was there any thought with marketing record about Dude, releasing with Barbie? Literally, absolutely not. Like, because it, we asked that in the so reaction. So I always, yeah. like, I'm telling you, like, Beartooth stuff is predetermined so far in advance. Yeah. Like, okay. Like, I knew that this album was going to be pink for a long time okay. way okay. before but it literally just happened to all <laughs> like, like the universe yeah. came Same together week of release. it was so funny but I'm here for it like yeah I'm, I thought it was, I was I'm like, here for the Kennergy like no doubt Kennergy yeah dude absolutely That's have you not seen that I've not seen that oh it's fucking everywhere yeah, I've only yeah. heard about it because I yeah I wouldn't I, when I movie. posted the pink there were People yeah. would say big Kennergy I was like cool be, be honest with us is that where the fitness journey you were hoping to be Ken where you yes yes Yes. It's pulled off quite well, I think. Yeah. Only the problem is he doesn't know who Margot Robbie is, so... <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was like, who? <laughs> They're like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, Gosling it is. Uh, okay. Australia is home to the world's deadliest spider. Do you know what it is? It's not a wolf spider. It's a... No, I don't know. Black Widow? No, that's American. I don't know. I like when people like talk their answers out loud. And you I know, I'm trying. The wheels are yeah. churning. Yeah. It is the... I mean... Why is my... I was going to try and find a picture of it. It's the it's the Sydney funnel web spider. Funnel yeah. web spider. Yeah. That sounds they look, terrifying. They look fucked up. It's a funnel nice, web it's a nasty does not. That sounds like some Spider-Man shit. I don't think you'll get powers from it. You might get a little <laughs> you bit. You wouldn't get go well. Yeah, yeah. Would not go well. Yeah, the power to die really fucking fast. Sydney funnel web spider. This is great content. Yeah. Great. It, it did that as well. Nailing it. Nailing it. So it's oh uh, my. Yeah, it's this bad boy. Don't love that. Not a huge <laughs> fan. Yeah, no would one's not, a fan of that. Would no. not want to be stuck in a room with that. No, it's not a good time. No. Uh, okay. What is a golden gay time? I this mean, is, does anyone know these answers? This is, this yes. is ridiculous. You've been to Australia many times and you've never had a golden gay time. I would love to give you a golden gay time. What is it? It's an ice cream. Sounds sick. It's Let's really do good. it. It will sound sick now, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I was just like... <laughs> I have no, I, I don't know. Whatever, man, let's party. I don't know, yeah, I'm here to party, man. Let's have a good time. All right, last one, and I think you're <laughs> going to get this. Which famous Australian coined the phrase, crikey? Oh, uh, oh, man. Fucking, was it, it's the alligator dude, right? Uh, Steve Irwin. Uh, yeah, yeah, close. Was we'll it Steve it Irwin? The crocodile Steve Irwin, yeah. Yeah, well, crocodile dude. Right. Yeah, crocodile dude. Well, Alligators uh, are not. We've yeah. got one final question. This is a question we've asked every guest. Yeah, it's the divisive one. You're going up on stage tonight. You're warm. You're comfy. You're dry. You're in a good mood. You're ready to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. You're gonna put on cold wet socks or cold wet underwear. What do you choose, and why? 
careful, you have wow. to do it tonight. Okay. <laughs> uh, probably cold, wet underwear, because I feel like that would be waking me up more than cold, wet socks would just like bum me out. And I feel like cold, wet underwear would just be like, okay, here we go. Let's fucking come on. And the I got to warm answer. it up quick. That's the first time we've had that answer. Everyone was like, the, I'm already sweaty. It doesn't yeah. matter. Nah. Let's check what it sounds like. Yeah, I don't know. I like that. In a weird way, it might be kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. I just think about chafing. You're moving around a lot on stage. Ooh. No, yeah, bringing chafing into it. Well, don't get me wrong. Uh, I am basically, a, when I get off stage, it's like I just got out of a pool. Uh, so I'm used <laughs> to being wet. Yeah, but at the end All of the stage, you've worked up to it. To start off with, I don't know. <laughs> to start off with, oh, that is a good question. Or that is a good point. No, I, I'd still, I'd go with the cold one underwear. Right. I try it once. It now. I can't wait to see like on the internet, like weird, uh, weird rider requests. <laughs> Play Caleb from Beartooth, cold wet underwear. Cold wet underwear, <laughs> must have a freezer for it's underwear. Like, yeah. Cold shock therapy. It's just going to it in every yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Like that'll wake in. you up. Yeah. Well, so I mean, before every show, I uh, soak my bandana in ice water. That's really. Yeah. I saw a cool thing. It's yeah. a, I, you might like this. So it was a dude. It was a TikTok video, and the guy goes, "He got a like a metal bowl, and he fills it with water to like this much, mm -hmm. and then there's about this much space at the top. Freezes it, and then he said every day he gets it out, pours cold water on top, and then comes back, has a shower, comes back five minutes later, and it's become like an ice bath. And he's like, he sticks his face in it. I've seen that. And apparently, because that's where a lot of the like heat receptors are right in yep. your face, oh. he's like, it essentially gives you the same equivalent of having like cold showers. Yeah. And you don't waste ice because you just refreeze it every time. Yeah. No way. I Jeez. have seen that. I've not been trying it. I've just been doing the cold showers. But like, when I get home, I've definitely thought about yeah, doing that. It's a cool idea. Because I want to get a cold plunge, but they're like so fucking expensive. I'm <laughs> just like. And the upkeep of the ice and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. lot. Yeah. It's a lot. But like, that sounds like something I could get behind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, there's your hot it. tips. More Dude, to learn. Thank you so much for hanging out. Yeah, We're thanks for having me. This you. has been like a fucking really fun interview. Cool. We've, we've been, been really trying to get enjoyable. you on here for a while. Well, we've wanted to get you on here for a while. Yeah. Perfect time. Well, honored to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. Thanks, appreciate man. it. And appreciate you. Woo! Hey, before I forget.